Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission for you all. I will everyone is blessed. I will everyone is feeling healthy, wealthy, mind, body, and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I um, felt inspired to do a reading for you all. Yesterday was the second um, opening of that 1111 portal. So I hope that you all utilize that energy and this moon energy uh, to manifest, you know, whether it be love, stability in this upcoming year. Um, I definitely did myself a nice little uh, ritual. So I will that you all definitely, um, you know, just tapped in, tapped into the energy. Even if you didn't tap into the energy, just ground yourselves, you know, took some time to really just, you know, implement that self-love, self-care. Because uh, four is the vibration of 1111. So that's really, really time for you to really kind of go within, um, search within, uh, do those internal self audits, if you will. Uh, but also just loving yourself. Really important to love on yourself. Whether that be something as simple as taking a little bubble bath or, you know, a spiritual bath, candle lit, you know, um, you know, eating right, meditating, uh, going out for a nice stroll, a nice nature walk, um, maybe even a jog, you know, uh, but just doing something for yourself, a little mani petty, you know, getting a little henna tattoo, whatever it is, just treating yourself, you know, especially with that 1111 portal, um, I absolutely feel that this is a very uh, profound time to start having like very powerful dreams. Like your dream activity can be real. It could be ran like running rampant right now. Like it could just literally be um, on an upswing, you know, the type of, types of dreams you're having. Uh, be sure to keep a journal because uh, I do feel like there's a lot of downloads, a lot of transmissions uh, taking place during this time. Um, with that 1111, that's like two pillars, and that's where those downloads can come through. That's where the transmissions, that's where divine intervention can take place. Um, so your angels and your guides, you know, they could be giving you angles, they could be giving you instructions. Um, as I said, they could be even giving you um, guidance. So just be mindful uh, to take that time to really ground yourself uh, and to, you know, create a space where, you know, every day um, you take at least 10, 15 minutes to just, you know, to go within, to connect with your higher self, to consult with your higher self, you know what I'm talking about? So yes, so we have that. So welcome. I want to say welcome to any of you beautiful souls that may be tuning in for the first time. Even if this is your second time, beloveds, welcome. I go by the name of Q. I am an intuitive reader. I am also clairaudient and I am an empath. So the way that things work here on my side of the planet is I do utilize music and I incorporate it in the readings. So the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, the numbers on the cards, um, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively and it all just blends very beautifully. And so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it go, let it flow. Never try to force anything to be a story. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play, whether by means of the timestamp or the title, that was in fact divine timing and divine order that you've done so, beloveds. So to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because you already know I love y'all that much. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been booking their spiritual consultations. I've made some adjustments with my prices and I may go in and do um, some additional adjustments, but I did want to, um, you know, just, just, you know, make some changes as we go into this, you know, this new eight universal year. So if you notice, everything reduces to the number eight because we are about to go right on into an eight universal year. Um, 
last year mostly was sevens <laughs> you know my prices would reduce to seven so so I'm really just staying in the flow of things so you know if you are interested in booking a spiritual consultation if you click in the description box below uh, there is an Etsy shop link which will take you to my shop and you can book your spiritual consultation there so um, let's proceed with the read beloveds I don't want to do too much speaking um, I want to let the cards say what they have to say beloveds but before we already know how we got to do it on this side of the planet, before we go into the reading, we do have to do some house cleaning. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll shave. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Yo. So what we have playing on the playlist is we have. Um, oh, let me turn that down before I get a strizite. So it's uh, first and foremost is 508 on the clock, which reduces to 13. And we have Midnight Star, and the name of this song is called Curious. So I feel definitely with that 508, that definitely um, is telling me that there's been a major transformation. We already know Scorpio's rule, the death card, and that's what the 13th card is in the traditional tarot deck. So this is representing your energy. Uh, you are receiving wish fulfillment because you have truly um, overcome a lot of obstacles. You've overcome a lot of disappointment. You may have had to heal from toxic relationships, love ships, family dynamics, but this shows that there's been enormous change within your life, within your um, mindset, even within your psyche. Uh, there's been a major death and a rebirth, if you will. So you've emerged someone completely different after um, a very difficult uh, period in your life. This could have been a karmic cycle. Uh, karmic cycles last, you know, from 10 years, um, pro you know, long, you know, for, it could last, you know, the longest they say is 10 years. Um, or I should say not even the longest, but, you know, that typically I should say a, t a cycle lasts 10 years some of you all could have you know been in a you know repeating a cycle so you could have been dealing with something for up to 20 years but nevertheless i feel that you have overcome something that has been very very disappointing very um very painful you know i just get a lot of pain a lot of loss um, but now that you have gone through this transformation, there's a lot of people that could be very curious about you. So you may have a lot of people that are kind of like just sitting back and watching you, secret admirers, uh, people who you've piqued their interest. Uh, so you do have some folks who may see you as, you know, like a star. You could be in the spotlight or you could just be really exuding and radiating just this beautiful, you know, glow of confidence, of self-love. Um, when you love yourself, when you grow through a period of uh, toxicity, um, you come out of that learning that love is an inside job. So I feel like you're really taking more time to love on yourselves and take care of yourselves and treat yourselves right. Treat yourselves better than you may have in the past. And that always makes you more attractive. So you are, you know, garnering uh, and gaining the curiosity of some folks that are, you know, kind of watching, you know, this could be people that are in your, you know, immediate circle, um, people you may work with, people you may live around within your community, or this could just be folks that may, you know, somehow be just, uh, you know, bumping into you 
you know, as you're just running your day to day, uh, your schedule, you know, running, running errands, taking care of business. Someone may just see you and be like, wow, you know, um, so this is a beautiful energy, uh, that 13 also reduces to four. So that is showing that you do have, um, a strong sense of self love. You know, you've really taken some time to just grow emotionally, um, more intelligent, um, and to really heal, to really uh, nurture and care and take care of yourselves. Uh, that is a strong quality and attribute of water signs is your ability to um, be emotionally available. Um, and that is a love language that you may have discovered you require uh, in order for you to even consider uh, a relationship with someone. I feel strongly that, you know, you may have been you know, disappointed in former relationships or love ships or friendships, because there could have been this, you know, lack of reciprocity, uh, where you were feeling like you were doing all the giving and you weren't really receiving. So it was very imbalanced, those connections. And now there's more of this sense of harmony within yourself, first and foremost. And as you have that harmony and that emotional, spiritual, and, and, and psychological equilibrium, you tend to attract others that are on your frequency um, because you you're vibing higher your frequency is vibing higher so this is a beautiful energy of someone who's very stable self-sufficient independent I feel with that four it's also showing me um, you've had a period of recovery you know because with the star midnight star I I'm gathering you know that star she's she's you know naked on traditional tarot she's she's naked but she's working with the element of water uh, as well as earth, you know, she has one foot on the earth and one foot uh, on in the water. And um, it just shows that there's an intention um, in tapping into that alchemical force to heal. So there's hope, there's optimism, um, there's this, you know, this desire to bring balance, to to restore the balance, if you will. Um, and as you, you know, set that intention, you could see that she's creating uh, you know, new pathways uh, for herself. So it's a beautiful energy of, you know, you really um, maintaining that optimism, even in the face of adversities, even when things seemed uh, like it was impossible to overcome. You've absolutely overcome, you've persevered, and you've showed resilience. That four is really a number of, um, as I said, you know, gaining that stability because you've went through that, that recovery period, that period of healing thyself. And now that you've healed thyself, you love thyself. So that four is the number of the heart chakra. It's also the number of the uh, divine masculine, the emperor. So some of you masculines could also uh, be finding yourselves feeling more opened and ready to love, ready to, to open up your heart. Uh, maybe this is, uh, has been uh, somewhat of a hindrance for you in the past where you weren't really trusting of others because maybe um, it could go as far back as, you know, having uh, some sort of uh, contentious relationships with your own mothers and umis or um, maternal figures in your family. So that lack of trust in those developmental years could have kind of, you know, um, lingered into your relationships with the, your divine counterparts or with your counterparts, the feminine energy. So now there's this, this sense of like, as you grow through that, that process of, um, you know, the, the, the toxicity and the, and the, uh, toxic relationships or the karmic relationships, I should say, um, it's like you learned that love is an inside job. So even if there was past trauma or familial trauma, um, childhood trauma, uh, you do take that that time, you know, like I said, that recovery period to really, you know, assess and to learn and to grow uh, from those situations and circumstances. Uh, so there's a lot of internal work, you know, but there's more importantly, a, a moment of pause to assess, you know, you're not just, you know, uh, juggling multiple things, you're taking that necessary time to heal, you know, and to identify um, what needs to be healed or what needs to be released ultimately. So that's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, I do feel that there is also uh, the sense of like a soulmate connection because four is the vibration of 1111. I was just touching on 1111. Um, 
you know, in the beginning of the reading uh, where yesterday was 11, 11, 11, 29. So, you know, maybe some of you all have manifested uh, some sort of soulmate connection or some sort of cosmic connection, a twin flame connection. Uh, you could have all been a part of that. You know, the twin flame connection is a very um, turbulent uh, relationship to navigate because you both are triggering one another. You, you both are mirroring one another as well, you know, as going through and growing through that shadow period. Um, you're also reflecting, uh, and projecting onto one another, those parts that need healing or those things that ultimately need to be, uh, discarded of in the first place. But that's just what I am picking up intuitively, uh, with that number 508 um, but I do feel like you could be coming into a dope a dope union with your divine masculines lady and the ladies and divine masculines you could be coming into a beautiful relationship with the divine feminine energy um, we have group home here and it says up against the wall um, so many of you could have grew up in you know uh, group homes I was picking up on some of you potentially having like uh, some very difficult um, or challenging relationships with your own umis and look what's on the bottom of the deck the same number so we started the reading with 508 and then we have 885 which also reduces to the number 13 so i was picking up a wish fulfillment here and this wish comes tr true for you because of the work that you've put in uh because i was immediately getting you know um this energy of just you know a recovery period you know after you go through like you know a sudden loss or you go through something that was very painful i'm seeing like the three of swords in my mind's eye you get the four of swords where you're just kind of taking that time to to rest and rejuvenate um but during that time of rest and rejuvenation uh you also start to take onus and accountability and it's because you're gaining more awareness of the root cause of, you know, that painful um, experience and, and where it may, you know, where it may, um, where it may result, you know, what it may result from, you know. So if you have, like I said, a very difficult relationship with your mother you know, or your father, even um, it could be the reason why maybe your love ships could have uh, been challenging or they could have lacked and that's almost like you're unlearning to learn all over again because 13 is about transformation so it's about getting rid of faulty belief systems things that no longer work for you things that you felt you know really um, brought a lot of disappointment or really brought a lot of confusion into your relationships you're now reframing things for yourself so that uh, moving forward there's more of a success story than you know, than challenging stories. So this 85, you're now moving to the beat of your own drum and following your heart's truest desires. And that leads to, you know, wish fulfillment and success. Because whenever you're living in your authenticity, um, spirit is always going to reward you uh, for, you know, just, just walking in faith and, and, and being your authentic self. So this is a beautiful energy of you, you know, now following your dreams, um, pursuing those dreams, even if you were, you know, afraid, you know, riddled with fear, you know, maybe you were dealing with people who had you living in a scarcity mindset or had you feeling like you were incompetent or, you know, just constantly speaking down or negatively about things you were pursuing or passions you may have had. And now that you've gotten rid of those individuals, or you may have even gotten rid of your own lack mentality, um, and negative self-talk, it's like now it's like infinite supplies are out there. So this is showing like, you know, either there's a wish fulfillment coming in for you, um, or someone could very well see you as a wish fulfillment, but I do feel like you're receiving some sort of reward, uh, especially if you did, uh, grow up in, you know, some sort of, um, if you had a, like a, a, you know, a challenging, um, childhood, uh, you know, growing up in, in, in foster care or group homes or living with, you know, other family members and not your own mother and father, you may have dealt with the, you know, abandonment issues and rejection, uh, which is why you could have held on, you know, tighter to 
toxic relationships just from the fear of being alone. And so I feel you've overcome that fear of being alone because when you learn to love yourself, um, that is all the validation that you need. And in the past, you could have been looking uh, to others to validate you and to make you feel appreciated or to make you feel loved. And, and now you are doing that on your own. So I do feel like, you know, um, those, those challenges and those, those circumstances that you've had to overcome, uh, were really the, you know, that was the catalyst to you now having, um, these blessings coming in for you. And you also, you know, feeling more emotionally, um, and, you know, just emotionally satisfied and fulfilled within yourself, first and foremost. So that's beautiful. So on the split, we have uh, this 56. It says relationship change. So as you learn to love yourself, as you learn to prioritize you, as you learn to treat yourself better, um, you teach other people how to treat you. This 56 is 11. So this is showing that there is absolutely um, a period of you getting your just due. I feel like if you are single, which I feel most Scorpios are, um, some of you may be just in the honeymoon phases of a relationship where, you know, new love has just entered into your life. But for those of you that are single, I feel like you're not going to be single for too much longer. Uh, this 11 breaks down to two. So I do feel that there's someone coming in that's going to give to you equally. This is going to be like someone that's like the yang to your yin, yin to your yang, someone that speaks your love language, someone that's going to, you know, have all the attributes and characteristics that you may be looking for. Uh, whether that be someone supportive, someone attentive, someone communicative, someone loyal, faithful, um, you know, this is someone that's going to, you know, give to you because they have something to give because the same healing and the same love that you've had to find within yourself and work on within yourself. This person has also done that. You know, whenever I see a double number, which the 56 one, one is a double number. Um, I always feel that that's someone that's made in your likeness. That's also, you know, you're attracting someone that's uh, very familiar, you know, very like-minded individual. And one is always about, you know, self-mastery. So this is someone who's also done a lot of work on themselves to heal, um, to learn to, uh, you know, express love, uh, to, you know, also be intentional about love. And um, this is going to make you feel overjoyed. I do feel this is your just due after going through, um, you know, something karmic, something painful. Uh, it's like spirit wants you to know you're lovable. This two and this four reduces to six. So six is the number of the lovers. So that is a very divine union. This also could speak to commitments, marriages, uh, you know, coming into a sacred bond, spiritual uh, partnership with another person. Um, this is someone that you will, you know, you, you all will dine together. You will, you'll, you know, have a lot of time to spend together. We got Nas and this is called brunch on Sundays. Uh, some of you may meet someone at our local restaurant, um, while you're out with your, you know, your, your girlfriends or out with your guys, the fellas, uh, and you may bump into someone that's, you know, you know, during brunch, um, definitely someone sees you as a queen feminine energy because, um, or a king, um, you know, this is for either or, uh, because Nas is, you know, from Queens, but the six is the lovers. So this is telling me that, you know, there is something, uh, very sacred about this connection, very spiritual about this connection. Um, someone that you will feel a lot of chemistry or synergy with this person as well, you know, cause that number six is, uh, like I said, that's the lovers. And this could be someone that your, you know, your angels and your guides, your ancestors, are um you know kind of aligning you with so this is a beautiful energy if you have been calling this in and manifesting it i definitely feel like it's coming in um it's coming in quickly unexpectedly you know and this can lead to marriage because i'm also seeing like that six of wands i'm seeing victory i'm seeing a major breakthrough in your life and it's because you've learned and realized you are lovable so i do feel like in the past you had to kind of like rewire your brain could have been with someone that was very negative, very nasty, very like just not good for you. Just just a very dark energy that really took pride in trying to hurt you or making you feel less than. And and some of those things kind of uh, stuck with you. You know, you, as strong as you may have been in the face of that adversity, uh, some of those things did kind of pierce um, pierce your heart where you could have adopted some of those 
those belief systems and 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 that was their insecurities projected onto you so i feel like you had to do a whole lot of purging um you know to rewire and reframe uh your self-talk your self-love your self-care and uh we got 87 synchronicity here in the bottom of the deck um i just wanted to see what was in the bottom of the deck so with that 87, like I said, you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities, whether through numbers, you could be seeing 888, 777, 666. Uh, you could be having the same dream, reoccurring dreams, lucid dreams. You could be seeing feathers. You could be bumping into the same animal totems. You could be having certain sensations. You could be seeing certain angel numbers um, popping up. I said that already, but, um, you know, maybe certain words or certain songs are playing constantly. Um, but there could be even messages popping up in your feed, on your YouTube, on your Instagram, certain messages might continuously come through and that is universe's way of connecting with you and communicating with you. So look up the spiritual meanings of the animal totems you're bumping into. Look up the angel number meanings. Um, look up these synchronicities because it's not by happenstance or coinky dink. This is all instruction. It's all guidance. It's spirit nudging you to do something. So I feel good with that shuffle. We're going to cut the deck. I do cut three times, three or four more times, depending on how I feel. So we got a, we got a card. That's your bonus right there. Let's see what we got. And right now we have Faro Sanders. And this is, um, it says live in Nietzsche, France. So um, someone could speak French. Someone could be from Africa. You know, a lot of Africans um, do speak French. Uh, so the card on the bottom of the deck, we do have nine completion. So you have wrapped up a cycle. We also have this teaching and learning. So you've been through a lot. And not only have you grown through these experiences that you've had to endure and you still got this follow your dreams on the bottom of the deck. So you definitely got a wish fulfillment coming through. And I feel like it's love. I feel like it's financial fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. I feel like something you've been working on and mastering is going to garner a lot of success and a lot of, you know, wealth and abundance in your future. But let's talk about this. So your overall energy, we have teaching and learning. So I definitely feel like there has been this period where you've had to grow from your experiences, as I was saying earlier. And it is definitely telling me that you uh, had to grow through these experiences because you may have some sort of anointing on your life. Um, maybe there was a period where spirit kind of put you in hermit mode or put you in that hangman status because the 57 is uh, reduced to 12, which is the hangman. So this was like a sacrificial position. So you've had to perhaps sacrifice, um, you know, a lot of, you know, your time and energy working towards building yourself up, you know, working towards reaching that level of self mastery. Uh, you've learned a lot in these, you know, in these periods during these cycles. Um, and it was all destined, you know, whenever you have this energy of teaching and learning it's because spirit has chosen you to be the, you know, almost like that one, um, almost like the Neo, whether in your family, whether in your circle, in your cipher, um, to be the guide or to be that voice, um, to be the example, um, to overcome, you know, the, to be the one that's going to help others become leaders, help others become teachers or healers or shamans. You have an anointing or some sort of calling on your life. And as you were learning, you were also, you know, uh, teaching others, you know, you were not only the student in those experiences, you were also, you know, someone who others were watching and looking to 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 absorb this knowledge this this wisdom from so it's it's definitely given that sense that you were uh definitely being watched because i was picking up that you had some secret admirers um especially with you know midnight star and curiosity uh curious playing when we first touched the cards so i was feeling definitely like uh, there was some people who were very curious about you, who were very interested in getting to know you. Um, and the more they watched, the more they were intrigued, um, the more they learned, the more they uh, felt compelled to make changes within themselves. You may really uh, find it 
baffling to know just how many people are watching you. You never know how many people you're inspiring. Even when you're growing through, you know, that shadow period or going through like a dark night of the soul journey, you really don't know how many people you're inspiring because all you know and can relate to is, you know, the pain that you are dealing with, but, and, and also the difficulty you know, the, the, the difficult terrain that you're having to navigate. But as I said, you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And so you've definitely reached a level of self mastery because that 12 where someone is now seeing you in your, your likeness, as I said, you're now glowing and, and radiating this, this wise dome, radiating this sense of, 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 um, love and nurturing and, and, and maternal or paternal energy, um, very regal and royal and, 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 and very, you know, dapper energy. Uh, it's, it's also very intriguing. It's making you more attractive. It's, it's kind of drawing and pulling people in, um, with this non-completion, you've definitely wrapped up a cycle. The three does break down to, uh, I mean, the 12 does break down to three, which deals with that Empress energy. And then you also have here this 85, which breaks down to 13, which is four, the Emperor energy. So you do have someone that's made in your likeness um, that is watching, that is observing. And they've watched you, you know, wrap up a cycle, you know, um, and you've done so, uh, you know, very privately. You know, you've, you've taken the time to, to uh, step away from all of the outside noise and to go within and to do all of the work that I said, like, you know, that recovery period, assessing oneself, uh, taking internal self audits, reflecting, introspecting, and you've discovered, um, your worth and your value as a divine feminine. Uh, you know what you deserve now, you know, and you also know, uh, not to settle, you know, you know, to, um, ask exactly for what you want because you know, you will get it because you know, you deserve it. So as I said, you've learned to, you know, absolutely, um, that you're lovable, you know, and that you're deserving more importantly. So who or what you're attracting to you, like I said, is a divine masculine. They could see you as a wish fulfillment. This could also be seen as your wish fulfillment. This four and this three reduces to seven. So this is someone coming in assertively. Uh, the seven is associated with the crown chakra. So someone's trusting their intuition. You could also rent space in someone's mind where they're dreaming of you, thinking of you. And when someone's constantly carrying you in their spirit, you will pick up on that um, intuitively. So if you're constantly thinking of someone or thinking of love or having these emotions of desiring a partner or whatever it, that may be, it's because there is someone um, that may be, you know, like I said, a secret admirer or someone that has some sort of interest in you constantly thinking of you. Um, I feel they're mustering up the strength. They could be trying to get things balanced out in their lives, but I do feel that they are going to be assertive when they do come in because I'm seeing the uh, chariot as well. So they will be rushing through and the chariot always uh, speaks to things working out. Um, it speaks to favor. You know, it's, it's a favorable outcome. It's a positive outcome when that chariot comes through because it does require, um, you know, that time to, to, you know, to find that balance and that harmony within, within oneself before you take action. Uh, so someone is being very mindful, um, and, and is very cerebral. I just get someone very cerebral, highly articulate, intelligent, psychic, intuitive. Like this is another person, um, that I feel you would also, um, be able to connect with on a spiritual level. Uh, because as that empress, you are also highly intuitive, a master manifester. Uh, you know how to tap into your alchemical force. You know how to set intention. Um, and you're also, you know, trusting your own gumption. You know, your, your, your solar plexus um, is something that you, you abide by. So if, the, if things don't sit right, feel right in your spirit, um, you're not going to do it, you know, because you know your worth. You know you don't have to work as hard. Um, so it's like that three, I always say the solar plexus, the stomach, you know, that gut is, is like your second brain. So whoever you're dealing with, you both are kind of matching one another's energy in that regard as well. So this person, they do have love. Um, I see pink on the inside of that symbol there. So that four is associated with the heart chakra as well as with that divine masculine. So they're coming in to match your fly, you know, like I said. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. 
and we have on the bottom of the deck we got 19 pride so someone's having an ego death someone's putting their pride to the side so what flew out is we have 71 health so what did I say about someone being up in their head? Someone could be really stressing and agonizing on how to come forward. Someone's also mustering up the strength because the 71 health always makes me feel like someone is like really up in their head a lot thinking, just like the eight of swords where it's like self-imposed mental anguish. And I think it has a lot to do um, with how they perceive you as being in that goddess or that God uh, energy and vibration. Uh, so they could be very self-confident conscious um they just may want to come in and and really impress you so that's why i was picking up like someone could be like mustering up the strength and the courage and the wisdom to come towards you strategizing planning and preparing because they know they got to get it right um but this eight is also showing me um that they are going to lean in their strength you know they're being very strong i feel like if someone was a little um apprehensive in the past i feel like they're mustering up that strength you know to take action because i'm also seeing like the eight of wands in my mind's eye for whatever reason so the other card that flew out is we have the eight manifestation so this could be someone that you are manifesting or someone that's manifesting you uh because this is someone who definitely sees you as their divine counterpart this three that's next to the 71 is 11 and i do feel like this is one half of that 11 11 uh one half of 11 11 that reduces to two so i do feel like there's decisions um that this person is trying to make let me show you what i was seeing so, you know, this three and this eight is 11. So someone is definitely trying to make the right decision because when I see the two, I see someone stuck at a fork in the road trying to choose wisely the next course of action or what they're going to do or how even they're going to um, take action. So someone is, you know, kind of learning from watching you. Maybe they are... Um, like I said, keeping tabs. So maybe they feel like they got to come in the right way. Um, and they don't want to, you know, like I said, they don't want to um, miss the mark almost. So it's like they, they really want to come in and impress you. With this eight manifestation, I do feel like this is something that you've either manifested or someone is manifesting you. This is definitely a wish fulfillment. And this has everything to do with love. I feel like this is definitely saying like... Um, there's something beautiful, uh, you know, from your good deeds, from whatever seed you've sowed in the past. It's like what goes around comes back around us again. So it's like whatever you've done um, in your past is what's garnering this blessing. So if you have been working on, you know, manifestations uh, of love, of financial gain, um, of just, you know, overall, you know, career um, or your business, whatever you've been doing, whatever intentions you've been setting, I feel like your manifestations are um, coming into fruition. Um, we also have the four perseverance. So whoever your person is has also had to overcome a lot of obstacles as well, namely pride, ego, stubbornness. Uh, someone could have been very stuck, um, you know, on um, just trying to, uh, you know, kind of just living in this facade, um, not being their authentic selves, being, you know, um, a false person, if you will, wearing a mask. And it's like now they realize because they've been watching and learning from you that, you know, this ego isn't going to serve them um, very well, especially when dealing with you, because, you know, they see you out here living in your authenticity unapologetically. And so it's just only encouraging and inspiring them um, to also, you know, get rid of the mask and, and cut karmic cords that they could have, you know, hindering and blocking them ultimately. So someone does heal. Someone does, you know, get in that space of, of, of you know, healing themselves and growing um, and also, you know, learning to love, um, learning healthy love. You know, uh, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful because what I'm seeing is, you know, that same energy I was speaking of earlier where, you know, I was picking up a divine masculine who's learned to, you know, kind of like open up to love, to be more receptive to love. Um, and this could have been, you know, very challenging, uh, especially if they, you know, if their environment, because we are products of our environment. So if their environment wasn't really conducive to them having a healthy understanding of love or, you know, how to develop healthy relationships with their counterparts, um, it's like someone has learned on their own by just taking, you know, that time to to really go within that that recovery period that healing period and they've overcome this is beautiful man 
This is absolutely beautiful. And they also took their power back. You know, so where this person was living a lot in their head, which is what the ego is, you know, your ego tells you things that um, aren't necessarily uh, the best things for you, but it's really um, out of protection, you know, that you develop a lot of these scenarios and dialogues within your own mind. But I feel like someone realizes that it was more, um, it was more, it was causing more of, um, it was more trouble, you know, problematic than it was helpful. So this is powerful. So let's tap in and see how someone feels about you. So with this, um, and the number that's on uh, this uh, Pharaoh Sanders song, which ended was 1971, which reduces to nine, nine and nine is the highest number of change. Um, nine also speaks to, you know, not only someone who could have been a wounded warrior who kind of took that moment, that pause to really, you know, self-reflect, to go within, to seek the answers. Um, but it's also, you know, really, um, that energy of someone just, you know, kind of looking back in awareness and gaining, you know, an understanding of, you know, those past relationships and circumstances, seeing where things could have taken a turn for the, you know, for the worse, you know, and then moving forward, uh, more optimistically, uh, to, to pursue one's, um, dreams and aspirations. Because if you look at the hermit card in traditional tarot, um, there's an energy that's in a cave locked away in the cave, which was something that they, uh, chose to do just to kind of be in solitude, you know, to be one with oneself. Um, and, and that's how healing, you know, takes place when you don't have all of the outside world, uh, you know, filter, you know, having to filter all of the, the, you know, the, 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 um, all of the voices and the noises of the outside world. And you could just really become one with yourself. Um, you're also able to, to really map out, you know, a plan or see clearly what your desires are, you know, and that's why the, the follow your dream card was the first card we saw, because that's what you're going to do is pursue your dreams. Um, it became very evident what those dreams were. It's not very evident when you have so many things clouding your judgment, um, and taking up a lot of space in your life and taking your time and your energy for, away from you. So that's a beautiful energy. That nine is the number of change, um, highest number and vibration of change. And you were able to implement the change because you were in that hermit mode. So that's beautiful. So let's see how this person who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. How do they feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. All right, got two messages and we got 74 nature. Some of you all could have been born in the year 1974. This 74 breaks down to 11. So this card is sitting here as I picked up the deck. This card is stuck here. So I feel like this is definitely um, a bonus message. This is the number 26 love partnership. So I think there's positive movements forward. I definitely feel, especially when it comes to love, I feel that there's a wish fulfillment. I feel this unexpected communication or someone coming into your life um, unexpectedly. You also have 888 eight abundance. So you got 888 eight eight here. So this is definitely saying that there's um, not only opulence and success in, in your life, um, financial fulfillment, but there's also love. Um, you're going to have an abundance of everything, love, um, financial wealth, opulence, growth, expansion. You know, if you have business, things could be expanding in your business. I definitely feel whoever you are, um, bumping into whoever this person is, is definitely going to be someone that you have a very natural, um, connection flow with, uh, very, a lot of chemistry, a lot of synergy. You also have a spiritual career. So as I was saying, a lot of you all are very psychic, very intuitive, and I feel whoever you're attracting to you is equally um, intuitive as well. But the spiritual career, many of you could have spiritual businesses or you could be spiritual practitioners. Um, you could be scribes, you could be tarot readers, you could be psychics, you could be channelers. Um, you may just, you know, craft jewelry. Uh, make candles. You could be a sound therapist, a Reiki healer, a healer, a remote healer. You could just have, you know, um, a gift. I was picking up, you know, you all being anointed, having an anointing on your life. And this is just double confirmation of that. Someone does see you as uh, very spiritual, like spiritually wise. Um, 
And also you could have been someone who has um, awakened this person uh, spiritually as well. You have eight, 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 eight here. So a lot of you could be seeing the number eights a lot. And eight is the number of karma. So I do feel spirit is saying, you know, you are receiving wish fulfillments and blessings because you have definitely wrapped up some sort of karmic uh, cycle, you know, and because of that, whatever was blocked, whatever was delayed is now rushing in. I definitely feel spirit is saying, get out in nature. Many of you are always out in nature. You may be just someone who loves to take nature walks, who loves to go out and, and earth yourself, um, meditate. You may like to do yoga out in nature. You may like to take a jog daily, regardless of the weather, regardless of your locality. You may just really feel more connected when you're out in nature, bodies of water, rivers, lakes, oceans. It's just like, that is your happy place. That is your place of peace. I also feel whoever you're attracting to you, the connection is going to be very grounding. Like this is a very strong union and partnership that you're building with someone. This 74 also breaks down to 11. This is also confirming that you're getting your just due. Um, and this is going to be very natural. I'm hearing a la natural. So it's not going to be, you know, you know how you have those little hiccups in the relationship where, you know, yeah, you have the honeymoon phase and then out of the blue, here comes an argument and it kind of shifts everything in the relationship. And then you got to recover from that. I feel like, nah, this is going to be one of those things where it's just like, where have you been all my life? Because you both are going to just get each other. And it's really because of the healing, you know, work that you both have done. So there's not going to be any of the old baggage. You know, this person isn't coming in with matching luggage. It's like you've gotten rid of your baggage. They've gotten rid of their baggage. So you both are coming towards one another, as I said earlier, healed and ready and, you know, ready to love and open to love and receptive to love. So it's like you're going to be able to to navigate you know, those little hiccups in the relationship because you're going to become friends. You're going to communicate. You're going to have effective communication. You're going to respect one another and listen um, to one another when there is, you know, some sort of concern. You're not going to just automatically take offense. It's like there's going to be a completely different way in which you and this person, um, you know, will cultivate this relationship. And it's because both of you have learned from your past experiences. That's why the completion card is here because you've completed, you know, a cycle and you've gotten you've gotten rid, you know, of, you know, all of those faulty belief systems, ideologies. Like I said, it's like you unlearned and had to reshape, reframe um, new dialogue, you know, a new way of approaching, um, you know, relationships, love ships, friendships, or circumstances, and, and it's doing you justice. So this is beautiful. This 11 also breaks down the two. So I'm seeing the two of cups as I'm speaking of, you know, someone that you will have, um, you know, that likeness, someone that you could give to, and it's, it's an equal exchange, a beautiful connection, very beautiful. And this is, you know, what's on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull a card for what's hidden in the energy. So let's tap in. So divine spirit and um and i just saw 47 as i'm speaking of the 74 which is you know the number uh reversed which is still 11 so divine spirit of peace power and protection so i look at that as just like spirit confirming you know so divine spirit of peace power and protection what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios we have um we have who is this this says funkin for jamaica and this is um some of you could be from jamaica and this is by Tom Brown. Someone's name could be Tom. Um, Brown is giving me a sense, like I said, that this, you know, especially with nature, that this is someone that you, you know, they, they ground you, you ground them. The connection is just very grounding overall, very stable, you know, you feel very comfortable. It's like you're establishing a very solid, you know, type of foundation with this person. I'm, I'm hearing home and hearth. Make sure that card didn't. Okay. I thought something flipped over. So divine spirit, what's coming? What's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Okay, so this card is sticking out. So I'm going to take that card. And it says change. So remember, I was picking up change with the number nine. So there's definitely going to be a conversation because five deals with the throat chakra. Five is also the hierophant. So someone has matured, changed, evolved, ascended, grew, graduated mentally, emotionally, spiritually. But I feel like a conversation is also going to change and, and, and also like um, it's going to change. Um, someone's opinion about something. It's even going to change perhaps the dynamic of the relationship. 
I feel like even your communication style has changed where you're more expressive now, whereas in the past you could have been more quiet or you could have been more hush or you didn't really express your your feelings or your truth just because you didn't want to um, incite arguments or, or trigger an argument or some sort of debate or, you know, have some sort of hostile exchange with someone. But I feel now um, you're more expressive is what I get more than anything. But I also feel like someone is going to communicate something to you and this is going to change, um, you know, the dynamic or the direction uh, of your life. I feel something is really changing and and with funking for Jamaica um I definitely feel like you know maybe someone is you know really gonna come in and they're gonna be very intentional because as I said you're attracting a mature woman a mature man uh so this is someone that you know will be like look let's change the weather <laughs> you know let's catch a flight and go to Jamaica let's catch a flight and go to France um you know let's just you know, let's go somewhere. You're going to need a passport. So there's things that are changing for the better. This is a solid card. And, and look what's on the bottom of the deck as I'm speaking of someone. So this person is a very mature person. Um, I also get someone very stable. Um, I also feel like you've learned to express yourself, um, not just com communicatively, but also artistically, creatively as well. Like you've, you know, definitely may have discovered uh, what your passion is, what your life purpose is, or your soul's mission is. And this has changed you in some way. And it's changed you to communicate, uh, as I said, more effectively and, and express your truth, you know, to open your throat chakra. Um, I absolutely feel like, you know, some of you all are more expressive now than you may have been in the past, which is beautiful. Uh, we're about to pull a card of the outcome. So remember, we was talking to the lovers, and so here goes the six love. So you do have someone or something that's coming in that's going to bring a lot of love. This is another blue card. Uh, so, you know, this is really showing that there's uh, someone who's perhaps sending you telepathic messages or someone who's just going to follow their, their intuition or use discernment when it comes to um, a love situation. Uh, because this could even be someone from the past returning um, and I don't feel karmic. I feel this is just someone you know from your past, uh, not a karmic. And I'm going to say it again, not a karmic. This is someone you know and have history with from your past. And this person, whether you realize it or not, has been a secret admirer of yours for quite some time. And they may be watching you. This could be someone that you know that you may not have spoken to in a while, but they may have some sort of you know, they may be a friend on your social media account. And so they keep tabs and they could see what's going on in your life. Uh, maybe the two of you kind of had some sort of disagreement. So you kind of just kind of fell off. Um, but whoever this is, there, there's a strong um, emotional connection this person feels for you. Um, so let's tap in with Tom Brown. I definitely get a sense of someone wanting to, you know, ground this situation again because things could have gotten out of hand so let's tap in so what's the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit so we got a happy ending here can't make that up so that completion wrapping up a cycle every ending denotes a new beginning and this new cycle is bringing in a lot of joy happiness peace i feel someone also feels you bring that you know because that same person you know that was learning from you and growing from you and assessing you from a distance is now realizing that you are you know you're regal you're royal you're deserving of love you're lovable um you're worthy of love you know um they they're seeing you now um, glowing, you know, you could be in the spotlight, you could be really just owning your power, standing in your power, you could be really just making a lot of changes and things are just flowing and expanding. And this is just exciting. And it's like they're realizing that love, um, you know, that you exude, it's like, they they miss the way you made them feel, you know, you made them feel like they were special. You know, you just had a, a, a very unique way of just kind of zoning in on someone and just making them, you know, feel very special, feel seen, feel heard. Uh, and perhaps in your absence, they realize, you know, that a lot of people that they were, you know, kind of crediting um, weren't deserving because, you know, a lot of these folks didn't even, 
you know, didn't take the time to perhaps get to know them, you know, tr the true version of them in the way that you may have, you know, because now they're like kind of, again, in that hang mode, hangman mode, you know, kind of like looking back, reflecting. And, and this is the epiphanous moment that they have where they realize, dang, you know, there was something about Scorpio where I just felt happier. I felt, you know, more alive. They felt like they could be their authentic self with you. You know, um, they definitely see you as very strong. Um, and they felt revitalized, rejuvenated in your energy. You just have a very infectious type of energy and it's it's very uh mesmerizing and it's just very um it's it's just also very attractive you know ultimately uh because this 93 does break down to 12 so not only are they you know assessing this and looking at things from a different perspective and vantage point um something has changed within the optics which means that you know this they've taken you know a moment of pause um and there could be distance so you know, you have created some sort of distance, but they see you now as, as that, like I said, as, as someone regal, because that 93 does break down to 12, which is three. So, you know, the empress, the emperor, uh, they've reached that level of self-mastery. They embody all of the characteristics and attributes of all the queens and all the kings. So you are very sharp-witted, you are very loving, you are very maternal, you are practical, you're a protector, you're a provider, you know, you are someone that um, knows how to, uh, you know, not only take care of yourself, but you are a leader. Um, they see you as a leader. They see you teaching others. Some of you, like I said, could have social media accounts where you could be, you know, kind of like utilizing your throat chakra and helping others, um, you know, healing others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And, and this is very like, um, it's like causing some sort of awakening within them. You know, maybe you have triggered them to make some sort of change to, you know, affect some sort of change within themselves. So that's beautiful. And the next one, look at this. I can't make this up. Follow your dream. So they're coming towards you. This is the three and the four. They are, you know, drawn to your light. It's like the moth to a flame, you know, and I'm hearing that Janet Jackson song, like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's They're drawn to you, you know. They are drawn to you. You are their wish fulfillment and they're coming toward you because this three and this four reduces to seven. So they are taking action. They do feel like you are, you know, like you're the, you're, you're, you're the yang, yin to their yang, the yang to their yin. Like this is a very sacred connection bond. And we have here surrender. So remember 19 earlier, the pride card showed up when we were speaking about your person. And so they are absolutely going to surrender um, to you, surrender to this connection. Um, and even, you know, you like get out of that space of feeling, um, you know, afraid or fearful or intimidated uh, because, you know, it, it's like the, you have to, uh, you know, sometimes you got to take those risks or else you're just going to live in, you know, you're going to just li live wondering what could have happened. So I feel like this person is going to step out of their own way and they're going to take action and come towards you. What we have right here is Mary J. Blige. Uh, you remind me. So someone's definitely having some sort of nostalgic moment. So let's get some messages from Tarot. It's one hour almost. And I don't want to do too long of a reading. Um, I just want to get the messages. And then wrap it up. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that. The sun is shining again. And remember here, it says happy ending. So this is double confirmation. I feel this happy ending is these two people coming back into union, back into harmony within one another. You know, you can see these two people looking at one another. This is someone you could have grew up with, someone that's definitely reminiscing, dreaming of you, thinking of you, and they're having that aha moment because the sun is, you know, the, the sun is like light. It's the, the, it's the source of truth, you know. So someone's realizing, as I said, that you just brought a lot of happiness, a lot of joy into their life. You know, look at that. They're coming in to get you because I was picking up positive movements forward. So someone is definitely, you know, coming towards you. I look at that eight of cups like someone coming into your life and expressing something. You know, these are two people that are, you know, look at this, this harmony. You know, this is like two people that are like-minded. Definitely someone, um, you know, that may have had to get over those walls, those humps to come toward you, to approach you, because I saw like a, a, a brick wall behind the two of them. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. See that? So this Ten of Pentacles is what they can see. You know, they're coming towards you because they, they can envision, you know, like I said, you know, building that foundation, you know, having that, 
happy spouse, happy house type of energy. There goes that four of swords that I spoke of earlier, which, you know, you had that moment. Oh, okay, it got lost. See this devil, someone's leaving toxic, you know, toxic relationship circumstances behind. You know, this is really, uh, you know, realizing what doesn't work for you. This is, this is like vile energy, toxic energy, controlling energy. This is what you could have potentially walked away from. You know, you could have walked away from someone, uh, like I said earlier, that was, you know, just very nasty, you know, negative, you know, kind of always trying to, you know, if you share something that you're very excited about, they always try to find a way to say something negative about it or to make you feel incompetent or, you know, incapable of achieving certain goals. Or they were trying to, you know, take, you know, credit for things you did or it's just negative energy. You just got tired of giving to this, 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 you know, this parasite, you know, this is a parasite. This is an energy vampire. And you gave and gave and gave and gave until you just got tired of giving. And you realize, like, you know, walking away was the best thing you could do. And look at the healing. You know, this is the recovery period. You know, so you're not taking action. You're really in a protective mode here. You're fully armored, you know, but you're also reflecting on the hurt, reflecting on the pain. And you're going to eventually muster up that strength to walk away because you were dealing with someone that was very vile. You know, I just hear vile, very vile. See that? This is the power that you took back. When you walked away, you came into your power, reached that level of self-mastery. Masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Now you're in that energy of the empress. Mention the empress and there she is. So now you know your worth and value and you know your worth and value because you had to learn. You know, you had to learn. You had to be the student and the teacher at the same time. Whether you realized it or not, you had to, you know, implement and, and affect the changes necessary in order to, to grow, in order to heal, in order to move on, in order to cut those karmic cords and yokes and hexes, you know, cut those people off, purge those circumstances and, and, and regroup and emerge someone different. And you don't get any, you know, it's not, you don't get any higher than the empress or the emperor because that is, you know, the epitome of divine femininity and divine masculinity. So your overall energy, we have the six of cups. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have the eight or the three of pentacles, pardon me, here for when we pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. So the six of cups is definitely telling me that this is someone from your past. I was picking up someone you were familiar with and I was not picking up a karmic. You know, this is that same energy that we saw with the sun. So this is someone you know from your past. We still got Mary J. Blige singing, you remind me. So this person is having like very nostalgic thoughts. I definitely feel, as I said earlier, like if this is a twin flame union, um, that's a very difficult relationship to navigate. You know, you do have to kind of reflect to one another, um, you know, almost like your dark side uh, so that you both know what you need to work on. But I feel like, you know, at the same time, this is really showing how you both have healed your inner child. You know, with the teaching and learning, you've taught this person how to heal their inner child you know, that wounded child. And uh, as you've done that, you have, you know, someone reflecting now on, you know, the work that they needed to do within themselves. So this is a beautiful energy of someone wanting to return, uh, someone who has a lot of um, adoration for you, joy. This is someone coming in and apologizing. He's offering a bouquet of flowers. And, you know, on this card, it's like they're smitten with one another because I can see them both kind of smirking and smiling. And there's still that that uh, eye contact, you know, where they are looking into each other's souls. You know, so this is this is a very sacred bond. You know, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So this is definitely giving soulmate type of vibes. And especially with that number three, someone is taking the time to reflect. And that's why they're returning with that three that this reduces to and the six here. You know, that's nine. So that's the change that I was picking up on where someone had to go into hermit mode to reflect, introspect, take those internal self audits and look back in awareness to see what, you know, what they needed to correct, what they needed to, to, you know, correct within themselves more importantly, um, so that they can, you know, go after their dreams so that they can, you know, follow their heart's truest desires. So the changes you know, is like, you know, establishing boundaries if necessary, especially with people that are not serving their highest good and also just focusing on the self, focusing on healing. And this is why someone's coming back 
um, apologetic and remorseful, uh, you know, that could also be why someone's up in their head, but this is what they want to do. They want to rebuild. You know, this is someone willing to put in the work. Um, this is someone that definitely is wanting to build that alliance. Someone feels, you know, like they, uh, definitely was, you know, foolish, you know, cause we have Joe Scott. Someone's name could be Jill or Scott. Uh, someone could be from Philly, but this is what they want to do. They want to work together. Maybe there was some sort of, um, you know, someone, someone didn't make the effort or didn't prioritize another person because I was picking that up with, you know, the eight of cups where someone's just kind of moving on and not going to be someone's, you know, afterthought. Uh, so this is what they are realizing who or what you're attracting to you is someone now that is serious about, uh, not only rebuilding, you know, this friendship, this connection, but also putting in the work, building that alliance. Um, this is beautiful because they're intentional. You could see they're, they're ready to, you know, to establish that foundation and cultivate right along with you. Um, and they're just a little afraid as to how to convince you because they see you as very single. You know, they see you independent, self-sufficient. You may have moved away, you know, to create, you know, a, a sacred space for yourself. Um, you definitely are protecting your energy. So that could be why someone is a little um, up in their head, you know, and confused as to how, um, you know, perhaps to approach you. Because how do you approach this 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 type of energy? This is pre empress status, pre empress status. If you're masculine, doesn't matter. But that nine of pentacles, she has everything she wants, and she's worked hard to achieve it. She's worked hard. She was very intentional on you know removing herself from you know turbulent circumstances, murky waters, uh, arguments. You know argumentative people. You look at all this you know competition, challenging circumstances, and you still reign supreme over nearly everyone <laughs> you know what i'm talking about on your krs one shit like part of my language but that's the energy so let's tap it so why is the 71 health eight manifestation for perseverance here for who or what my beloved scorpios are attracting to them let's tap in get a message of peace power and protection spirit thank you so look at that this is why because they were confused and i bent the hell out of this card so this is really you know this is really emphasizing the confusion and the mind uckery and the you know it's, it's like all fear based you know and it has a lot to do with what they did but look what they want to offer you this is what's on the bottom of the deck for how they feel about you so what they and we still have another card that we have to also uh, include but this is why they are stressing because it's like they was acting confused perhaps maybe there was a lot of options um they could have been wearing that mask that i was speaking of earlier not being their authentic self because we did see pride so i was seeing pride and ego and someone being stubborn uh, but they could have chosen an option that just simply wasn't good enough it didn't measure up because now they're seeing you as you know this divine feminine this empress energy um and this is what they're also fearing didn't i say they was intimidated this is why they are intimidated because they really want to say something this is what they want to do but this is how they see you they see you as potentially like chopping their head off cussing them out um you know being argumentative or defensive towards them and i feel like this is all uh self-imposed mental anguish so they are you know creating these narratives within their own um, minds and it has a lot to do with you know perhaps the fact that they have remorse they feel guilty about something they may have done or the actions they may not have taken in the past but how they feel about you on the bottom of the deck we got the ace of pentacles so like i said this is someone that's very intentional someone that's very serious about what they want to offer you and this ace of pentacles is like a tangible gift this is like them wanting to you know shower you with gifts like i said i was picking up someone wanting to take you to jamaica someone wanting to take you to france someone wanting to give you tangibles gifting you with flowers um just really being um you know, attentive and giving and caring. Um, this could even be like, you know, uh, some sort of um, engagement ring. Uh, but I do feel like this is someone serious about what they want. Also being supportive financially, someone who's well off. You know, you know, this is how they also perceive you as having your ish together, you know, having your money right, uh, taking care of yourself, being very independent and self-sufficient. Um, what we have playing right now is we have... Um, half on a baby by r kelly someone could be from shy town someone's name could be robert or kelly first middle or last but this is someone that wants to go half on a baby they want to build that nucleus you know plant seeds and roots in you <laughs> you know what i'm saying like this is someone ladies that wants to you know 
They want to plant a seed in you. They want you to bear their baby. Because R. Kelly is saying they want to go half on a baby with you. So this is beautiful. So they are very attracted to you. They're very much um, in love, you know, in love. So let's tap in. Why is this 26 love partnership, 88 abundance, 78 spiritual career here for uh, who and what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them or how they feel about them parting me. So look at this. <laughs> this is what's hidden. You are very, very um, intimidating because you come off as you don't need anyone or anything. It's like they've literally watched you, you know, build from the ground up and look how stable, how successful you are. This is beautiful. Some of you have um, some some sort of blessing that's going to change your life because this is what's on the bottom of the deck for when we pull what's hidden so there is an offer from a feminine energy or maybe feminines there could be an offer coming in you know um you know from you know a, a you know a, um a recruiter you know that's offering you an exuberant amount of money you know um maybe you're book you know landing some sort of business deal but this is going to change your life change the direction of your life this is a lot this is how someone sees you as well this is what's hidden you don't realize how stable you know this is a beautiful energy so how they feel about you wish fulfillment i told you all through the reading and they also know that you're very serious about loving yourself like this is the epitome of being selfish loving me myself and i this is my de la soul card because it's like you've learned to walk away from situations that were making you feel emotional emotionally um bankrupt you know and you learn to you know prioritize you take care of you so this eight nine of cups pardon me that's what you do when you walk away from relationships that are not fulfilling you. And what you realize is loving yourself is far more fulfilling. And that's why you're now able to validate yourself. Look at this big old jolly smile. It's literally like he's blushing. And this is because you're overjoyed. You even in not only within yourself, but even in your career, in your stage of life where you are, where you know, whether you relocated, it's like your life is is just life is good. You know, I'm hearing that song by Nas. Life is good, life is good, like life is good, life is bliss. And they see that. You know what I'm saying? They see that you are you know, stable all on your own. It's like they don't even you know, it's like, what, what do you need? But they're also very successful as well. I feel you're attracted to someone who's equally, um, successful. You're matching someone. This is like someone who's matching your fly, as I said earlier. So who or what your, um, what's hidden, pardon me. Uh, why is this five change here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is five change here for who, uh, for what's hidden, pardon me. Why is this five change here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? So this card wants to jump out. We're going to take it. Empress, can't make this up. This is who you've transformed into. This is you transforming like Voltron, beloveds. You have made enormous change. Remember, I was speaking of maturation, you know, growth. I was saying a mature man, a mature woman. You know, this is what you've done. You've made changes within yourself. You grew. This is that energy of learning to express yourself, speak your truth. You know your work. You know your value. You could be birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking. This is just the change that surrounds you. You're no longer biting your tongue. You're speaking your truth. You're expressing your truth. You're more expressive. And I feel like you've also discovered your skills. You know, you've been mastering your skills, honing skills, uh, mastering your craft. And I feel like you've become you know, that, that person that others look up to, people may come to you for advice. People may come to you, uh, to, you know, just, just have a safe space, um, because you create that for people. So it's just like, you are truly beautiful. You're a goddess. You're a God. You're someone that has a wealth of knowledge, someone that's very, um, you know, approachable, earthy, loving, nurturing, maternal, paternal, um, and grounded, you know, down to earth. This is a beautiful energy. And you also are very powerful, very successful. So this is another thing that really intrigues people and attracts people towards you. This is beautiful. This five of pentacles. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. What did I say about someone feeling abandoned and rejected? So in the past, you know, cause this almost looks like a mother and a son, you know, um, and I was picking up like, you know, even if it's a father and a son, a father and a daughter, whatever the case may be, and gender doesn't matter. But if the scenario is applicable, then that's what you focus on. But if there was that uh, relationship where there was uh, some sort of difficulty between, you know, um, a child 
and their parent or their umi or their baba, um, I feel like this is what's improving um, as you heal those relationships with your mothers and your fathers um, and learn to forgive and learn to show compassion and not judge yourself or judge them. Because as I said earlier, we all are, uh, you know, um, we're all products of our environment and we have to consider, you know, if someone is, is, isn't aware or doesn't have the knowledge, um, you know, or doesn't even know, you know, the damage that they're causing, we can't really blame them. We just got to kind of look at, you know, the situation as we're growing and not look for people to blame, but just, just look for opportunities to heal. And like I said, to, to reframe, uh, you know, reframe things so that it, it, it works for us so that we can release ourselves from, you know, those traumas and, and, and also forgive, you know, our, our loved ones. So this right here is showing that there is this moment of forgiveness because they're embracing, you know, on this deck of cards, they're embracing on traditional tarot. They're walking in a snowstorm, um, by, you know, a cathedral, a church, um, seeking assistance. But here she's, she's, consoling and, and showing love to this child. And if you look at the head, um, you know, he, he's, his head is wrapped in bandage and it's, it's bloody. So it's like, it's almost like he's had some sort of trauma, uh, you know, psych, you know, some sort of, um, uh, psychic, uh, not psychic mental trauma, um, you know, where his thoughts were kind of getting ahead of him. And we do see that here with the 71, which I always liken it to the eight of swords, depending on the circumstance. So it's like, she's consoling him and loving him and telling him, you know, it's okay. So this communication that takes place or this ability to, um, heal and, and reconcile this relationship is why there's now, uh, this happy ending, you know, this happy ending ensues because of the forgiveness. You know, this is beautiful y'all. You know, that's why I always tell y'all forgiveness is for you. It's not for anyone else. You know, people think they're hurting other people by ghosting them and, you know, just, you know, blocking folks and not forgiving people. But it's like, it's really more of, uh, um, an energetic and spiritual blockage that you will feel, uh, more than anything. So it's very important to forgive people so that you're not anchored, um, emotionally or spiritually, because that thing will still be there just kind of, you know, there to be daunting, you know, it's like looming over your life. Um, so forgiveness frees you of all of that. It's like, you literally can just sever the tie with that and, and just, you know, float on, you know, but why is this 93 happy ending? Follow your dream here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is this 93? Follow your dreams. 85, um, uh, 93 happy ending and follow your dreams. Look at that queen of pentacles. I can't make this up. So this beautiful queen of pentacles is confirming this energy. Like I said, a lot of stability, a lot of financial wealth. I'm hearing opulence. I'm hearing expansion, growth. I'm hearing just stability, you know, feeling independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. But this is also, you know, you achieving your goals, you know, someone also making you a wife because this queen of pentacles, you know, she, she deals with the home and the hearth, you know, she's really, uh, there to ground the relationships. Uh, she's very domestic. She's very nurturing. Um, you know, and I do feel like there is this energy of, you know, someone who's, you know, coming in that wants to put in the work, put in the effort because they see how hard you work, you know? So it's like someone wants to come in and match or fly. This is that togetherness. This is that support. This is someone, you know, when you lay down the foundation or lay down the cement, someone lays the brick, you lay down the cement, they lay the brick. So this is that energy of really, um, you know, working together, teamwork, uh, someone wanting to collaborate, someone really, uh, wanting to, um, even willing to compromise, build that generational wealth. This is someone, you know, coming in, uh, with family, um, in their mind, someone open, uh, to love someone ready to love even more importantly. Um, but this is a beautiful energy here. This is really, this is reconciliation. This could even be like, you know, um, reunions, the three of cups is here. So someone's been very busy, focused, dedicated to their work, disciplined in their work. And that's what led, I feel also to this, you know, stability, but this is also someone you could have met at your place of employment. Um, someone you may know, you know, from a job or someone you may meet, uh, while you're on, you know, some sort of business trip. 
someone that you may meet in a training class, someone you may meet on your way to work, someone you may meet uh, in your community where you re you reside. Um, what we have playing right now is Grand Number Theorem. And this is a meditation vi uh, video. So we got Nas King's disease here. So this is uh, definitely, someone definitely could be like a workaholic also. Um, someone could have just been really money motivated, really focused on, you know, but this is like also finding joy and passion in your work too. You know, look at the smile on his face. You know, it looks like he's very, he's enjoying what he does, you know. So this is beautiful. You know, this is a beautiful energy. I want to get some additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So let me get some messages from, I'm going to get some messages from uh, Kipper because this is a smaller deck. So look at that. You got a wish fulfillment here. That's double confirmation, 17. And 17 breaks down to 8. 8 deals with the star. And remember, when we first opened the reading, we had midnight star. So there's definitely a wish fulfillment. This is because you've overcome a lot of difficulty. You're being recognized. Someone is giving you a beautiful gift. I feel someone has a lot of regret, you know, for not offering this gift sooner. Because this is that same 8 and the 5. So something, you know, led to the demise. Maybe someone was really... Um, because this is someone in despair. So remember that same energy of someone that was, uh, you know, really up in their head, you know, because the 17 or 71 is 17 flipped. So this could be what they're stressing over. This looks like someone agonizing and stressing, maybe because they didn't express themselves or communicate themselves. That's why they had to learn, you know, that 32 breaks down to five. So they had to mature. Someone was very, I feel emotionally um, stunted or not as emotionally intelligent in the past, not as communicative. Um, this is someone that's definitely, uh, I feel going to work on their loyalty. Maybe they were loyal to the wrong people, you know, but they have regrets for not making an offer for not, you know, extending an offer, I should say. So divine spirit, peace, time, protection. Let me get a message of love and light from my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. So these cards kind of chose themselves. What did I say about someone being false, dealing with, you know, Fugazi energy, something, someone wearing a mask. And you see how she's closing, you know, covering up half of her face. He's covering his eyes. So this is like a masquerade almost. And this is someone that you was definitely, you was able to see through. Like you were always standing perpendicular on your square and someone wasn't being their authentic self. You know, this eight is that same vibration of the 71, which is, you know, someone that was, you know, kind of like doing, um, you know, self-sabotage, you know, doing things that was just going to spite themselves, cutting their nose off, spiting themselves. So the cards that actually chose themselves to clarify the overall energy is we have uh, house 20. So that is the number associated with judgment. So I do feel like, you know, something um, is about to come to light. Like someone's having, you know, as I said, like some sort of wake up call. Um, and maybe this is impertinent to, you know, their foundation, you know, what they envision um, for their home. This is also to making a decision. Um, you know, this is about duality and there are two people here, you know, so someone may feel like the home and hearth, whereas someone that they could be with or could have been with, um, it could feel like a prison, you know, it could feel like, you know, it's more of an obligation than it is, um, you know, a situation where they feel, um, happy or like they can be themselves, you know, cause this is a big ass castle and, and this, I could just imagine how cold it is. You know, castles are really, you know, large and, you know, it's, it's, it could be cold. It takes a lot to, to warm up a house that's five bedrooms. Imagine trying to warm up a big ass castle. So it's just like, it, it's more so like, you know, someone is not living in their truth or living in this facade. It's just for show. It's like showboating, but in the back of their mind, it's like they're reminiscing and thinking of you. Because even with the six and the two, that reduces to eight. So it's like, you know, kind of almost, you know, again, ruminating and pining and, you know, not being their authentic self. You know, that's the pride, the ego, trying to put on a show like, oh, I got the biggest house, got the flyest car, and I'm in this relationship with this person, and this is what we have. But, 
you know, there's no love there, you know, so someone is learning to be their authentic selves or someone is learning, uh, perhaps even to be independent, you know, uh, cause your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. And in the numerology deck, the number 11, which reduces to two, which this 20 reduces to, um, is the individuality card. So they could be in a codependent type of relationship or someone learned from being in a codependent relationship, how to stand perpendicular in their square, um, on their own. So making a decision to move out of something that no longer serves them. The next card we have is coffin. So they do remember the 19 was the pride card. So someone does have an eagle death, ego death. And I said eagle, so that's not a mistake. That's a Freudian slip. So the eagle is associated with transformation. So I do feel like this coffin is saying that this is, you know, kind of like the catalyst, which led to someone just seeing things differently. 2019 could have been a rough year. There could have been a lot of loss in the year of 2019. Um, you may have lost loved ones. Um, someone could have potentially lost a home. Someone could have passed away in a home. Um, but I feel like 2019 was very significant. Maybe this is the last time you spoke to this person. Maybe this is the last time you saw that person. Um, but I do feel like something, uh, a relationship met its demise in the year 2019, or maybe something, um, something definitely, um, transitioned, you know, a relationship, uh, ended or whatever the case may be with community. I feel like you do have a lot of angels, archangels, even ascended masters that number three, uh, deals with uh, the ascended masters. So your angels uh, definitely were supporting you and protecting you and guiding you. And not only you, but I feel this union because I do feel it's a sacred connection you have with someone. Uh, this 39 does break down to 12. So I feel a strong angelic presence, you know, like I said earlier with the 57, that's 12 as well. And that deals with the hangman. So that's really about, you know, being, uh, you know, forced in the sacrificial position to look at things from a different vantage point, uh, to see things from someone else's perspective, even, uh, so who or what you're attracting to you. We have this false person here. So this is that person that was not being their authentic self. That's the reason why I feel like that intimidation was there because they were kind of like, you know, stuck. Um, you know, trying to choose, having a lot of options, and you definitely could have purged a lot of people, places, and things, including them, out of your life, or maybe they was just, it was almost like, um, it was just by default, it was just like, yo, everything gotta go, and they was just a part of, you know, you know, the, 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 uh, the purge, if you will. So let's tap in. Why is the 71 health, eight manifestation, four perseverance, seven of cups, and a queen of swords here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is the 71 here? Ooh, oh, wow. This is a lot. And I'm not taking all these cards, only the ones that are upright. That's what spirit told me. So all of these that are down, I'm not taking. So look what you have. So this is why I was picking up intimidation because you're too mature for the games. Remember, we saw um, we saw something about games earlier or foolish. Someone was feeling like a fool. Um, and it was because, you know, they, they messed around and, and, and uh, sacrificed something good for something that wasn't even worth it. Uh, but this is how they see you. Someone also has been maturing. They've been growing up. They've been growing up emotionally. They're now in harmony with that six. I'm seeing the lovers that deals with the lovers. So this is someone who could also be kind of, you know, more harmonious, more balanced emotionally, as well as, you know, um, logically, you know, balancing their emotions and their, their, their mental faculties, if you will. But the six is also trusting their intuition, you know, um, using their first side to see being more discerning. So, you know, they're, they're, so that they know when to take action, uh, they will communicate with you. Uh, the seven is showing that they could either call you, send you an actual letter, um, text you, they can email you, they can uh, send a DM, they can definitely reach out and touch you. This is what they desire is communication. I was picking up the fact that someone had something they want to say, but they first wanted to make sure to get it right. Like they don't want to just come in because they see you as very mature, see you as an empress of you know your worth. They don't want to make a fool of themselves, so they want to be very mindful of how they communicate, express this message to you. Next, we have community. So they are getting assistance from the spirit team, their angels. And we also have this 19 uh, coffin and the house card that flew right back out. So that was, you know, kind of um, something that maybe uh, 
dealt they've dealt with and that what they've had to heal and grow from and persevere from um i feel like that's literally almost the catalyst as well to uh them you know starting this healing process and learning how to love again because maybe they lost someone very close to them um but this also could just speak to that ego death that they had you know really taking that time to to get rid of their own faulty belief systems and it's because they learned from you um, what you, you know, maybe by watching you, they learned what you were not going to put up with. And so they made those necessary changes, uh, so as to come toward you, um, the right way to approach you the right way with this house. You know, I do feel like this is something that they can envision, um, is, you know, having a happy home, um, with you, you know, really, uh, perhaps they're leaving a home. Maybe they're trying to purchase a home. They're making space for you is what I'm hearing. And look at this courtship. This is how they feel about you is they want to court you so i was saying that someone's coming in intentional and so this is someone that's going to make the time like i said someone might be like look let's change you know let's change the the the, the weather you know and change the weather by just you know changing your locality getting on a plane taking a flight and going to the other side of the world other side of the country this is someone that's going to be very um attentive to your needs and very loving and loyal this is a divine masculine and this divine masculine sees you as you know that you know that yin to their yang if this is the divine feminine she sees you as the yang to her yin uh so this is someone that definitely has a lot of love you can see cupid shooting his arrow at this couple so this is definitely what i feel is destined um we have uh philip bailey and this says children of the ghetto so this is uh, definitely showing that you two could have, you know, grew up together. You may have had some very um, your humble beginnings. You know, you both that's, you know, could show that you both have uh, some sort of humble beginnings or you have something in common in terms of your upbringing. Uh, perhaps that's just this person uh, who has had to overcome a lot because remember we had group home playing earlier. But, you know, with children of the ghetto, I do feel, especially with Philip and Bailey, um, someone's name could be Philip uh, or Bailey, first, middle, or last. But I do feel like, you know, someone has matured. Someone has learned to accept their past and, and be proud of it, you know, because they've overcome a lot. They've achieved a lot. Maybe this is your energy where you grew up in some um, very rough neighborhoods and you've achieved more than you ever even thought you would uh, other people see you as very successful you could be the only person you know like in your family that has accomplished uh, a lot maybe you the only one who's received your 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 phd or your your you know your uh your grad you know graduates um you know you could have received your master's rather uh you know maybe you're the first nurse in the family but it's like you know you've overcome a lot is what i get i gather humble beginnings and when you look at you you see how much you've evolved and how satisfied how much growth you know how much expansion and how wise and loving and loyal and so someone can see themselves building with you you know building that nucleus building that family uh, cultivating a relationship. This is like giving me that four of wands, uh, where, you know, you have that twin flame type of dynamic. So why is the 26 love 88? Okay. So that card flew over here. You got a wealthy man on your hands. I told you was attracting someone that was made in your likeness. So this number 13 is that person that went through that, you know, that death. Um, because remember we have coffin. So coffins definitely denote a death, you know, something has died so this wealthy man this divine masculine 13 you know has you know they see you also as wealthy but this is that wealthy man that has their eyes on you see how he's just watching so i do feel you have a secret admirer and what did i say about someone who can't stop thinking of you you just rent space in someone's minds they think of you all the time you know like you know just constantly i was picking up with that mary j glide song that um you know, someone was just like in this nostalgic space, uh, but they think of you a lot and they're, they're mustering up the strength. They're going to be assertive and come towards you. Uh, that 16 deals with the crown chakra. So you are running space in someone's mind. And I do feel like a conversation changes everything. You know, someone confesses or expresses how they feel. When you think of the chariot, it has that yin and yang energy with the black and white horse. So this person does see you as their divine feminine. And this is divine masculine here. You know, the wealthy man, wealthy woman, 
You know, this is a beautiful energy or privileged woman, whatever you want to call her, whatever you want to call him. But he's watching you. He likes what he see, what he sees or she sees watching from a distance, has a lot of love and is open to love even. And if you look, there's like a time clock here. So that's telling me divine timing is of, uh, you know, importance as well. So whoever this is, something is about to change uh, where someone is going to, you know, close the gap on the distance the train did go by so i was picking up that there was distance there uh so let's tap it so why is this five change and the empress here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios so you got two cards that flew out and then we have judication someone could be going through some sort of uh someone could be going through like a, um a divorce something's changing because that five even deals with institutions marriages uh but it also could be two people you know going to the justice of the uh, peace to get married so we have this thief here so whoever that was that was immature um not even immature but that was kind of dealing with a lot of um you know a lot of fugazi energy um someone realizes the people around them um were just using them you know they weren't dealing with people that were very that were genuine and i feel like they you know make the decision to move away you know, they're going to make a change, you know, to get away from that energy because that same five and the six is like the 11 that we saw earlier. Um, and that 11 that I was saying was like it was a codependent energy because uh, in my numerology deck, it's the uh, it's the independence card. Um, individual is it individuality or independence? I think it's individuality. Uh, the number 11 and this is 11 five and six so someone is getting their just due from dealing with that false person that person that was you know stealing and trying to you know dupe another person um and they ch they're changing for the better because it's like you learn from your experiences and i feel someone has definitely learned um you know that whoever they was around uh all of this you know energy you know the the masks you know, someone could have chose someone that was wearing a mask. And that's the change is, is, is like changing, um, you know, changing your friend group or cutting off certain people. Uh, the 36, you know, distant horizon, something is definitely blossoming. But you see how this anchor I was mentioning, like, you know, that that uh, spiritual and emotional anchor, you know, where you're just bound, you know, and stuck. And you can see that this anchor is kind of being lifted. And there's even this heavy chain. So this is like someone is finally freeing themselves uh, from a very daunting, um, one-sided relationship. Someone discovers that. Someone is starting to use their intuition and they're seeing that, you know, this fake person, that same fake person, person see that feminine that was covering her face with the mask. And then I showed you the masculine who was uh, covering his eyes. I can't find the card now, but... That's what someone realizes they were dealing with. And they're freeing themselves from that, that uh, toxicity. So that's the change is someone matured, someone grew up, someone learned. Um, and someone's going to express themselves and speak their truth. So someone could definitely be, you know, um, going through some sort of divorce proceedings. And the moment they do that, they're going to just feel this sense of relief. They're going to feel liberated. Um, they're going to feel overjoyed. Um, and we got Curtis Blow. You know, and this is, these are the brakes. So they're definitely pumping the brakes and stopping something uh, before it gets worse. So that's what I'm picking up. Someone's name could be Curtis. Someone could be from Queens. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have mature man. See that? Someone matured. Someone learned from you. You got mature woman and mature man here. This is a suit. This is another 11. So someone learned from another person and look at great fortune is here. So there's abundance, there's wish fulfillment, there's, you know, emotional fulfillment, there's satisfaction, joy, there's opulence. But I was picking up maturity, maturation, and we see that here. And what did I say? Another card of change. Someone could be moving, relocating. You can see all the luggage. And this is going to bring a lot of joy and happiness because this is positive change. You could be moving into a home with someone because this person, like I said, is coming in very serious, ready to cultivate and nurture and build that alliance, that partnership, that union. And this is someone that you are familiar with, you know, because there is a reunion here. This is rejoicing celebrations almost. And this mature man is coming in intentionally because they've learned. I feel like they've learned a lot. 
you know, and that's what we do. That's why we have, you know, this energy of teaching and learning because they were watching, you know, this is very watchful energy, you know, all these eyes are on you, you know, this is very watchful energy. They're looking straight at the card. So, you know, whether you're feminine and have masculines watching you, whether you're a masculine having feminine watching you, there is definitely people learning from you because you have been doing your own healing and growing and recovering and it's just been um so helpful that others have been taking a page out of your book but this is a beautiful reading you have wish fulfillments that's the 26 there and it says great fortune so great fortune and that ace of pentacles the queen of pentacles got the nine of cut like you have a lot of blessings pouring in for you right now um and I just, I just want to say congratulations, beloved, because I could tell that you did the work, you know, you did the work so much that you have, it's almost like you have, um, encouraged and inspired others to step their game up, like to level it up. You know, they're trying to keep up with you, you know, so this is beautiful energy of inspiration. So you are leaders, you are healers, you are shamans. As I said, you are chosen. Some of you all are chosen. You are anointed and you have a calling on your life. And that is why the 78 spiritual career showed up because many of you are very psychic. And as I said in the beginning, definitely uh, take note of your dreams, um, you know, create like you know a journal of your dreams even of your synchronicities you know what you're bumping into pick up those feathers that you find you know and and hold them and connect with them and and, and see if there's any downloads that come from them uh, because birds are definitely uh, messengers messengers from the spirit realm so that is your beautiful reading I hope that this message resonates for you all. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in if this is your first time. Uh, again, if you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation, click the link in the description box below, which will take you to my Etsy shop, and you can book your consultation there. Ashe, thank you again for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat Ashe. Yo, peace, love, and light, y'all.